as a, best, uh, losers. best losers. But it, it will also the the home advantage, you know, mm. the host advantage. Host advan well, something that I don't think things like that comes on board. Okay, now you'll be shocked. The Panya boys really did terribly well, very well, and um, in fact, they, I call it terribly well because <laughs> they they really played, and uh, you could see that uh, they have 34 years old uh, striker Nsue is they. Uh, He's going for the, the, for the for high, the highest goal scorer. Yes, the golden boot. And you see, he has five goals already. These boys have scored eight goals. When you include the one in Nigerian game, it's nine goals. Whereas we are on three goals. That we did not score. We, we are only on two goals because the other one is, um, is, a, is an own goal. You see? So that's the uh, issue see, there. Well, it's not just... Cote d'Ivoire that is uh, out of the game. But another tragedy happened that um, one of the African powerhouse mm. also left, exited the uh, championship, mm. the, 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 the tournament. Talking about the Ghanaian, the, fa the, 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 the first exit of the Af AFCON after throwing away two goals. Ghana is in a pity state. The state of football, I don't understand what Chris Hutton is doing with them. They have good players. It looks as if it's not connecting. First match, they were almost home dry, and they lost 2-1 exactly. to uh, uh, the, the, the other uh, side, where um, they were held. They were just winning, and they lost. Yesterday again, they were leading with two goals. And Mozambique came from behind to, 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 draw. to draw with them. And vehemently, they are nowhere. It's unfortunate. You know, uh, Ghana came into this tournament as one of the hopefuls. Yes. <clears throat> okay, hopefuls because, you know, big name. But you see that big names ain't working no more. It's not working. It's not working no more. No, 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 no. You know, people are beginning to dismantle that the big in the name. Yes. Know? They are removing the big and leaving only the name. Football does not know whether you no, are no, messy no, or not. No, no, no. If no, you no. open up, the, your opponent will deal with will, you. will score you a goal. That's deal all. Deal with you, seriously. That's all. It's very, very surprising. It's very, and, very and, and after drawing this game, uh, they drew 2-2 two, two yesterday. The journalist journal, uh, came with, attacked the players and destroyed their bus. The Ghanaian journalist. Are you serious? Yes. They were so upset, very angry yesterday, with the, 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 the even player. with the players and the coach. So they, everybody, some of the fans, they, some people got injured because wow. they, they were so much disappointed. You know, they couldn't believe that a whole Ghana could just leave the tournament like that. You, you know, uh, football generally, and then breaking it down to African football mm. is something that goes in with a lot of passion. Mm. People invest their energy, their time, their money, even their spirit. Mm. So if you if it goes the other way, if it goes the, the, the negative way for them, most people can bear it. You, you know, know, there's something we call losing gallantly. Yeah. And something that we know that hey, you guys need to win this match. You lost to a, maybe a better team, a, better a team. bigger team. Yes. You won't cry so much. Everybody will see that uh -huh. these were uh, men that fought this fight. You know? But looking at um, no, what no, happened, no. it's not it's nothing to write home all about. And this uh, to tell the world that African football is advancing. It's upgrading, yes. Yes, it's really, really advancing. And it's no longer because we are the giant of Africa or because we were the one that the defending champion or because we are this, then it means that it's going to go on like that. If you don't put your house in order, do the right, the, the deed for, maybe what happened to Cote d'Ivoire and uh, Ghana would happen. Look at the host nation. Yeah, After their first match, nothing else. Yeah, we gone. defeated them and, um, and Equatorial Guinea almost spelled their name. I miss, I miss yes. the, the large turnout of, uh, of uh, the yeah, uh, supporters. Uh, supporters. And, you know. and their president was also there. Uh, yeah. So it's, it was a very big disappointment to him. Mm. Very big disappointment. So Ghana, we are saying, man, you guys should um, soft pedal and uh, go back home Go back, back, back to, to your drawing, board, drawing board, that's right. And know where the problem is coming from and fix it up. Okay, uh, away from the AFCON, let's go to uh, Italy. Larato Martinez fires Inter into Super Cup win after a 1-0 win against Napoli. 
Martinez is, no, is a big name. They won the Super Cup, the Italian Super Cup, mm -hmm. yesterday after defeating Napoli. And I think this is, they have won it, this is three times back to back. And um, this is a very big one for uh, their coach, uh, the former AC Milan and the uh, interplay as well. Uh, talking about uh, Filippo Zaghi, who is Zaghi. their coach. He is so happy that they won this. Now, after Napoli won the Sukedo last uh, season, Napoli has been finding it extremely difficult, difficult to, come back to, the same to come back to the same form. You can imagine them losing back-to-back -back games. And their former coach is back, their Matarazzi, and um, nothing seems like it's happening. What do you think is the issue? No player, they didn't drop any players, the same player there, but why is it that they are not, they've not found their form back? Okay, you know, um, I keep saying all the time, uh, sometimes it may not be difficult to get into the top, okay, and win the championship. Mm. But the difficult part, part will be to keep that championship. The sustainability, the of, sustainability it. of it. Mm. Because people, you win because maybe people made mistakes, or people failed to do one or two things. But then you begin to relax on the top. Mm. Nobody is going to let you stay there peacefully. Mm. You know, it's not possible. So you need to constantly so have to put up a fight. You need to constantly be on top of your game to maintain victory. Mm. You don't just go like a Jessica, you know, I've, I've, just like what happened to Leicester City, Leicester City, Leicester City years back. Yeah. You see, up to now they have not been able to find the top five. No, Leicester City is in the championship now. I know, but, and, but they are, but they are, they are number one now. They are doing well now. Okay, fine. Mm. So they are doing well now. So that's what they need to do. Mm. Okay, but so winning is. You know, sometimes you could wobble yourself like I, 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 I'm praying for Nigeria to wobble them, themselves into the finals, into the finals okay? Mm. But once you win this cup, every other person, every other team is looking at you as the champions. Mm. They are studying you. They are watching all your games. They are looking at how did you make it and they are trying to see what the loopholes to pull you down from the top so that they can come on top also. Everybody wants to be on top. And also there are player uh, who is a Nigerian striker you could see for a long now he has not been able to score in Napoli and also the same thing is replicating in our, in our national team yes. where he has not been able to live up to the title ship he has and um, um, uh, he, he has, the he whole has, title ship he has. He has not represented that title yes. ship at and all. And you could, you could also just yesterday, the day before yesterday, the day after yesterday, the uh, League One came up with a title that they ought to have given to him while he was in a... Uh, uh, Lille, mm. they gave it to him in the AFCON. They brought the title to him there. So you mm. see, it's all about title, title, mm. and uh, I think that has really been affecting his he, game. He should take his mind he off don't. of those titles. That's it. Maybe, maybe, yeah. maybe, um, Jose Pesero should you need to put him on the yeah, bench yeah. Or for the time being and uh, bring him in mm. to know if that um, after, because everybody now know it's Oshima that is going to top the night. So they look out for him. They send people on him. They study him. They study him. Watch his game. Yes. So if he can just change it, bring it on Wachu into the game, which may destabilize the, the, our opponents. Yes. Right? Because they will be like, uh, bring it on Wachu, bring in Ihanacho, and let's see how it goes. Change the game for us. Change the game for exactly. and let's just see how the whole thing is going to work out. And then he can come in later. Yes. You know, I know. come in second half. Change. Exactly. And then there may be at that time he, he can make that those moves that, Move, that he's yeah, known for. Yeah, he's known for. And create those chances. What what he needs. Okay, we wish Inter Milan uh, a very wonderful one. And they are still the one topping the league. We we'll pray maybe they are going to still win the league this 2023-2024 uh, season. Okay, away from Inter Milan, we had Egypt. Egypt survived Afcon next round by Whiskers after Trezeguet salvaged a point against uh, Cape Verde. The same would have happened to Egypt. Yeah, uh, they've, not been on the, they've not been playing very well, but um, um, God so kind yesterday, they were able to escape with a draw against uh, Cape Verde, where Trezeguet came in and uh, he scored the equalizing goal that made them uh, you know, play 2-2. So um, Salah injured 
and is out of AFCON. Oh, totally out of AFCON. It's totally out of AFCON for now. Uh, maybe anything might happen, but it's out of AFCON because of injury. Now, why are the whole super champions finding it difficult to, you know, coerce? That's what I, I keep saying. You know, the game is taking a leap in the sense that, see Cape Verde, mm. who would give Cape Verde a chance against it, uh, Egypt in the, in the first place? Mm. But here is Egypt, you know, toddling behind by one goal and had to come back, you know, mm. by share... To share the point. Uh, to, share, to share the point. So, uh, this time, you don't go into any game looking down on any team. Now, if you be a mm. the same way you qualify to be in the championship uh, in, 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 in AFCON, is the same way these other teams qualify to come here. And as a matter of fact, I can tell you for free that they came with more zeal mm. and more passion to win. They are more hungry to win. They are hungrier to win than, than the big names. The you names know? That people come in with names. Uh -huh. from the I think they are, they are, they are removing the big. Real Madrid, we are in this yeah, club, we are in this, we are in that. As, as a matter of fact, it's becoming a disadvantage to you now. To you, yeah, exactly. Because those local boys want to shine. Mm. They want to mark you out if you are the, the number one goal scorer in, uh, in La Liga and you are playing in AFCON. Mm. And then him is coming from a local one backyard team in his country. Mm. And he has the opportunity to play for his country. And he's going to mark you. He will mark you out. Mm. He will make sure that you don't play, I don't play. Exactly. Because if he succeeds, can you imagine who succeeds in marking out the mm. He becomes a point man. The story goes to him. Exactly. exactly. Everybody's looking for him also. Exactly. If you can do that to Sime in Afcon, you can do it to him anywhere. In, anywhere. Mm. So they also they want to sell themselves. They want to show, showcase their own talent, talent also. It's an opportunity for them to showcase their talent. So you don't take it away from them at all. No, okay. Yeah. So that's what's happening. So if you're a big name and you're a big player, you must continue being big. big. Live up to that expectation. Live up to that expectation that you're a big player and mm. stay big. Do the things that you ought to do. When you catch that player that is from the local league, do him what you do, do what you everything do with him seriously to show him that you are in as if as if it's not a human. <laughs> okay. We are still talking sports on ABS Sports Plus this morning. Okay, the last story we have for you today, because you know every week we bring out the headlines to talk uh, you know to x ray them and talk about them. Former Eagles defender and captain Joseph Yobo says Eagles are not convincing. Mm -hmm. That these Eagles are not convincing. Yeah, he's he, saying it. Clearly, they are not convinced. No, 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 they are not. They are nothing. They are nothing to write home all about. I agree. To, I agree totally to what, what, what you agree. I, I agree totally. I agree totally. You know, I agree totally. It's not convincing. As a matter of fact, uh, you know, watching the game right now, if Nigeria leaves. I will, I, will, nobody will be I, will, I, will, I will be surprised. Yeah. That's the truth of matter. If nobody, you, we're not going to feel it. No. We have, we have, we have, we have, we have, thought would have left. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no it will it be news. It will be news. It will be news. It will be news. It will be news. You know. So, okay, now, before we go, what do you think should be done? What do you think should be the solution so that we will be able to improve in the next game? I think our salvation may actually lie in the bench okay right now we need an injection from the bench mm. we need to inject players who are really hungry to make a difference okay i'm not saying the ones that are playing don't want to score they do want to score but they are not putting in that extra you know extra Even they, it seems they are not they, 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 they are not um you know forming a balance with what just special shouts on you know, standing on the, on, on, on the line and what they are doing inside. So definitely, it, it looks as if there is a, a, a tactical indiscipline in, in the game, in the team. And, and also, honestly, I keep wondering why we are not conceding goals. Because it's not just not scoring goals. When you're not scoring, you might begin to concede. Mm. Okay? So I'm, I'm giving it to our, 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 our defense I mean, line. We will see need to say, Joe Pesciro has done, at least he has been able to understand how to tighten the defense. You see the uh, transition, the transition of going forward, the midfielders joins the defense when there is an attack coming. 
Uh, so where our, the book of problem lies now is the connection between the midfield and, and the finishing line. And the finishing line. I think that is where let's convert these goals. We have Mustafa Musa Musa is still on the bench. We yeah. have Yana Cho there. We have um, Onwachu is there. These are people who can make a difference. Like you rightfully say, I want to agree with you that maybe our salvation lies in the bench, in the bench. there, and uh, maybe something different could still happen if we look inward. I think this is where we'll be drawing the cutting close on uh, ABS Post Plus this Tuesday. Next week, we'll be coming your way with more exciting stories. My name is Tile Kwame Daniel. I'm Ramali. Thank you for being part of uh, ABS Post Plus this morning. Let's keep wobbling. And get and, to the final. And get to the final. <laughs> Bye for now. <laughs>